All right, so we're going to try this out. This one is a, a variation of it by request of Sourworm. So we'll see if we can maybe find ourselves some slightly more success with a little bit uh, bulkier team. I also don't have a Shadow Mawile. That is correct. That would be even more expensive. Uh, Diggersby. We have seen a ton of Diggersby leads. I, I don't have a Shadow Mawile either, Fresh. Oh, baby. Show me the SCAB as the safe swap. Show me. $50 for Shadow Mawile. <laughs> I feel like that's a lot. I feel like I'd rather just not say a number, right? And just be like, I'm just not doing it. I think I have a Shadow Mawile somewhere in my inventory, but I've never built a Great League Shadow Mawile. We're just killing this. Like, it sucks that uh, the Diggersby is going to get to come in here, but it has a hard time farming us, right? This isn't like a Pokemon that can just outright farm us. I have no why, no idea why the Mega Horned. They could be on Mega Horn Acid Spray. Yeah, Fresh. Like I, I just don't have the team. So, if you want regular Mawile, I can run it. I'm not trying to get out of running the team. Let's let's leave it at that. Do you want regular Mawile, or is Shadow Mawile a component that it requires? In your opinion. Yeah, so they're going to do that because they are they are looking to farm me, right? They're looking to set up a farm to make the Lapras matchup more appealing, which does work for them. They'll get to Earthquake me and shit, but like... Can do a shield and Earthquake? Just like, just outright shield this because it's probably Earthquake? Yeah. All right, so they are double fighter, which is a bit of a problem, right? Upside is one, there's a shield. And this is a, a very telegraphed pup. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is gonna maybe back. Well, actually, no, we see impede there. So I should get both of these fire punches off. I don't think they got a counter in there. So that's good. Okay. Yeah, we do get both. That's good. We really needed that to uh, go the right way. No move. Okay. It does. Okay. All right, fresh. I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want it. I didn't want it to seem like we were just not going to run the team for uh double fire punch. I mean, they have to earthquake me to kill me anyway, right? So they have to go that into and they just they're not going to be able to pull that off. All right, GG's. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll give you your points back, friend. And if you want to throw together a different water gun lapras team or something like that, but yeah, like, I unfortunately just don't have the Shadow Mawile. I've never built one, so. I had transposed the uh, the Shadow onto the Lapras, because a lot of people have been talking about Shadow Lapras with Water Gun. Um, but yeah, I don't have either of those. Double Counter is a tricky, real tricky team for us, but luckily that second counter user was Lucario, and we could just kind of pressure it in the way that we did. Uh, Walrine. Okay. Well, our back line sucks against this, so <laughs> I think we have to play this matchup. I am on Skull Bash, so that's good. It does give us a way of winning this fight. What I hate is the idea of shielding an Earthquake. Or not, uh, okay. Here's what I don't want. What I don't want is for my opponent to just like take shield advantage and run basically I need them to kind of commit to this matchup long term okay because now the earthquake is like kind of less of a thing kind of less of a thing 
like earthquake. Yeah, that's fine. But it's also possible that their back line doesn't want to see Lapras either. So, okay. I should survive another earthquake from here. Just as a, just as an aside. The double skull bash buff is kind of nice. Earthquake, yeah. Barely, but we do. Okay. We'll take that dub. And a frost last. Okay. Well, the downside is the second ice type is a problem, right? Second ice type is a bit of a problem. fine also this is a bit of a problem they're functionally triple ice right now and that is uh going to probably result in us uh dying Okay. So we get blizzarded. Um, but we got the shield. The issue here is that I don't know that I can kill this thing. We should outrace. I have to earthquake it, right? And I think the frost last is going to require an earthquake or two punches. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're going to earthquake it. We should survive one avalanche, but barely, right? I'm hoping earthquakes enough from here, frankly. Because the two punches would do it. But I'm hoping this is just the correct play. Yeah, it is. GG's. All right. Woof. Woof. <laughs> uh, some of these Pokemon, man. That team was basically triple ice into our uh into our uh double ground team. So we've beaten a couple teams that we really had no business beating with our team so far. Mag Cargo. Yeah, our back line is great. Our whole team is great against Mad Cargo. So let's see what they want to do. Okay, they're going to stay. Fine. Let's just get out. Okay, Frost Loss. Probably, Kayshawn. I'm not shielding anything here, right? Like... I'd like to like fire punch and then maybe earthquake, but I don't know if the math is gonna the math is gonna work out on that. It doesn't. Okay, we'll double fire punch. Ooh. That's a little that's a little ugly, but that's okay. I don't really mind. I, I should have delayed clock here though. Or I'm not worried about delaying clock. I'm not worried about it. We're going to dumpster the uh, Mag Cargo, and this is a fine matchup, right? Non-Shadow uh, Quag into us is fine. Like, Stone Edge hurts. Don't get me wrong. But, like, I don't really care. I don't really care. They can do their uh, their rock thing here. I don't think any of these moves. Yeah, Rock Tomb doesn't do anything to me. 
And it's one of those rare instances where we actually just want to be, uh, what, sand tombing, right? Because sand tomb does a ton of damage. <laughs> Thanks, App Crash. I, I, I've taken to ignoring a lot of it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, it's probably another rock tomb, but it's probably something we should be shielding, right? Just to keep enough health to actually, like, power through the quag here. This is a little awkward, though. Stone Edge is not going to kill me. I want to get out of there primarily because uh, we're double attack debuffed there. So if I get out and get this shield, or even if I just get out and get energy, I think I can probably kill them with um, Shadow Claws, right? Nah. Yeah, they need to try and farm my Lapras, which is never going to happen. Never gonna happen. Good night. GG's. GG's. Yeah, if they have like two stone edges, they could uh, potentially, but I think I, I'm pretty sure I banked a, a stupid sand tomb as well, so. All right. Now I'm feeling, now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling it. Hi, Headman. Uh, I've got a, a pithy one-liner. What's up, the D? How you doing? Uh, I think Quag's good where it is. I think Stone Edge is a great move. I don't think it needs necessarily anything much faster. Um, Gliscor, that's a great lead for us. Hedman, I have an answer to that question. Uh, well, we're playing the mirror. We're ahead, though. That means we'll get to our Skull Bash first, so that's nice. Here is the, uh, the, the fun, pithy one-liner for you. IVs matter. Or sorry, no, that's the wrong one. IVs don't matter until they do, right? IVs don't matter till they do. Most of the time, you're you're better off not worrying. We're both gonna get skull bash. That's fine. You're pretty much. It's pretty much worth not worth worrying about uh, IVs on your Pokemon until you are very much very much uh deep 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 into the whole thing right uh i don't think this is skull bash the thing that's annoying is that we're basically trading our lapras here right we're basically trading our lapras here but i'm gonna come out with energy and ready to throw a move so like depending on what's coming in okay perserker Uh, yeah. Let me get, give me another surf. Oh, getting another surf would have been really nice. That's fine. We're going to, we're going to come on in here and, uh, just not worry about it. Like, even if they want to throw a close combat here, I'm not shielding. Like, yeah. Ow. It hurts. You right. You do be, uh, you do be slapping us, but. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think we can just kind of come in here and just like, oh, I should, I should be at least pretending to throw a shadow claw, but yeah, app crash. That's my old, uh, that's my old, uh, my old metaphor. I don't know where you heard that unless you were joking about hearing it on this channel. I think Chaz and I use the same metaphor as well. I think that's also what Chaz uses. Uh, okay. I think we have to try and tank a Night Slash. This might be wrong. I might just be... Okay, no. We're, we're bulky enough for that. No Water Gun. I don't like Water Gun. I've never liked Water Gun. If I can avoid using Water Gun, I will. Okay. We're getting you, we're getting you to shield uh, very poor moves now. You got that for, yeah. The funny thing is like there's a lot of that running around in uh in all the various
various circles. I don't know why they didn't shield that, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't shield that. Let's try and go 5 and 0, by the way. Um, so, yeah, understanding what Pokemon do, their matchups, how they work, all that kind of stuff is way more important than your IVs. That's all you really need to know. Uh, Lurpus, Frostlass. Okay, sure. Sure. What does my gut say? My gut says that my opponent has an S-Cab on their team. Now, the question is, will they will they pup bait me or are they straight shadow ball me here? Ah, gross. All right, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Uh, I think we lose this game. So I, I know that's a 50-50 call for me. Um, it's definitely one of those one of those instances where like I don't necessarily know if either play makes sense. If they have an S cab, I think we we're gonna lose this game if they have an S cab anyway. Frankly, they do. Okay, that's a pretty telegraph double fighter, um, which was one of the reasons why I thought they might bait. I thought they might go for the bait, but... Hmm. I'm going to need these shields, so... I'm going to need these shields. But I just I don't think I don't think Diggersby here is running through their remaining two Pokemon. Uh, the big reason why like the Frost last matchup is pretty decent for us, if we have enough health to tank a uh, to tank a move, we don't. Right, we're not gonna have enough health to tank a move here. Although they've done something interesting for me, which is they have put themselves in a spot where. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. I think we need we're gonna need three fire punches and I don't or two fire punches and I don't think the math is gonna work out for that. Uh good discipline there by our opponent. Yeah, they got us. I we needed so okay, if we shield that shadow ball, I still think we're in deep shit. <laughs> I still think we're in trouble. That SCAV is such a threat in the back. We probably could beat it. We beat one earlier, but unfortunately, our opponent went Hold on to you, uh, the way we didn't predict. So, <laughs> Lordy Neophobus. Lordy. Think of attack IVs as oh, there human brains Jesus. and defense and HP IVs as marbles. Just put as little thought and brains into the bucket as possible, and instead deposit those brains into the red pool behind you, 